feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions And it's too much sometimes, mix the potion Mix it up, girl, put it in motion Hey y'all, it's your girl Ash and I am here with the video. Today's video, I will be traveling to Atlanta to get a chemical pill. I am so excited, but yeah, I am really tired right now. Um, the time now is currently, I locked myself out of my phone, but it's 3.47. As y'all can see, I just started my car and um, me and my mom is about to start heading to the airport so we'll see you guys once we get there hey y'all so we have made it to the airport um we're currently in the parking garage getting our stuff out the car of course we got a lot of stuff but we're trying to hurry up so that we can make our flight and the time now is we gotta keep track of time it's 4 30 we should have been here 30 minutes ago which we was looking for parking but we're on the run to Atlanta. So we'll see y'all when we get inside of the airport. Okay, guys. Dominicans or something or something because y'all my hair is not giving this wig is a whole hot mess like a whole hot mess oh all right y'all so we're about to get on the shuttle and i'll update y'all oh he said we could come that way Starbucks, but I am starving and my mouth is dry and I need 
something to drink really, really bad. Like, I want some water so bad. I'm, I'm thirsty, y'all. So, we're on our way. So, we'll be back when we get there. Alright, y'all. So, we are about to go in Target real fast. Let me see. Target. We're going in Target. Let's go get some items. We gotta go get some stuff though, y'all, out of Target. I definitely need some shampoo and some conditioner. Um, because this wig is not giving. I'm going to do a quick weave in the hotel room. And yeah, I'm gonna be recording that too. Inside of what I already got going on. Cause y'all, I shouldn't have came here with this wig. And I'm going in trash. Once I do my hair, I am going to be in the trash. I'm telling y'all, cause it's just not, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. Mom, come on. Huh? Awesome. I'm going to go pick out some shampoo and some conditioner. Uh, which way I'm going? I think I'm going this way. I don't even know where I'm going, but to be quite honest, I'm all over the place. Oh, really? But we're in Target and we're going to get some goodies. Y'all see, this is why I really need to reframe myself from like, I need to reframe myself from getting stuff because I'm always just like picking up stuff. Just picking up stuff and picking up stuff, picking up stuff. I'm always picking up stuff. Half of the time, I don't even be using. Half of the time, I don't even be using the stuff right away. So, I gotta stop doing that. Hmm. Little shampoo and conditioner. Uh, let's see. All right, hold on. I'll be back. Okay, so we have made it to our hotel room. As you can see, this is the closet. My mom was already in here, of course. We got a little coffee station where we get our ice, got some water, a little fridge, you know, you know. And this is our bathroom. Eh, it's okay. It's not bad. I ain't going to get me right now because I don't look too hot. But then we got our big old king size bed. And a mirror, of course, I can't show me. And still, y'all know, but yeah. And this is our view. This is our view, guys. This is not the best view, though. That dirt down there. But other than that, everything else is pretty. Good afternoon, Natasha. How y'all doing? Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all, we trying this place called... Ginchi. No, it's called Ginchi. No, it's Ginko. No, Sushi. it's, it's Ginki. My mom's saying it wrong, y'all. But anyway, we had got salmon bowls and we're going to try sushi. I'm scared about the sushi. we about to try the sushi, y'all. And we're about to watch some Netflix. Oh, give me that thing for my hair. What? Which 
Oh God, mom. Hmm? It baby girl, I'm scared. I'm not bad. I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared to try this sushi. How you? I don't like these chopsticks. I really don't. I don't like the chopstick. Can I sign in from the wig? Y'all, I'm trying to sign in to Netflix right now. And we're going to try this sushi, but I'm scared. I'm scared because I don't eat stuff like this. Me neither. I don't eat stuff like this. Uh, see, look. I know I don't eat it because I'm tearing it up. I'm tearing yeah, it. you ain't even picking it up, right? All right, y'all. This is the sushi. I'm going to dip it in some sauce and I'm going to try to eat this. Mm -hmm. The girl said she like it. What? Hot. Hot. What? It? What's hot? <laughs> That's the avocado. Spicy. Hot. Oh. Mm. Y'all. My mom might bring it up, but I'm never going to say I don't eat something again because that was kind of good, especially with teriyaki sauce. But mm -hmm. my mom, yeah, it's nothing but spicy. So, uh, the avocado, don't touch it. I don't know, y'all. Like, you don't mean. I don't know. She said something was spicy. That, that, and it's not good. Y'all, so we just get into our room. It's 4.53. Hold on. It's 4.53. And we are just getting into our room. And we about the Netflix. We got to find something good to watch, too. I want... I like bench-watching shows. Because then you could just keep watching them back to back to back. Did she give me cabbage or something? I don't know. Y'all, I'm about to eat this salmon and rice. I don't know, that's sushi bang. And just not the I'm, avocado. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan. I, I had it. I had the whole thing. No, you didn't have this. Mom, I had it inside the sushi. What you No, talking? that's really hot. I'm telling you. Man, the rice is good. Mm-hmm. My this brown rice is good. Salmon good. It's good. Oh, this is given. Y'all like heard my, her. Like it's my given. daughter. It's given what it's supposed to give. Like my daughter T would say, this is given. Y'all, that's my sister. My sister. Oh, I know. But. I'm about to sign into Netflix soon as I can find how to log in because we trying to watch some Netflix. Nice little vibe and stuff. This spinning. Mmm. That was good. That was good. It told me to go to Netflix.com slash TV8. Now, why you ain't working? Enter the code 9083 1760. I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. We might go back out. Well, no. But this one got keep paying for parking. But the fact that we got paid for parking, that's annoying. I'm staying here. It wasn't that much. Yeah, it's not that much. Mm. It's not. That I'll be forgetting my Netflix. Oh, good. It worked. 
It's gonna work. It's gonna work. They got, they got nothing to do. If they didn't, we would, we would have to watch what they got on this phone table. Really? Yeah. Yes, we will. I'm going to try the sushi again. It is good. Yes, I good. think it's because of the time we got, dog. Yeah, because I want to eat. I do. I think it's because of the time we got. That's good. That sushi is good. Mm, mm, mm. But see, back home, we would have to find a sushi place like the one we just went to. Or I ain't going to eat it. So, we got to find some spots. We got to find some spots. We need something good to watch. What's that? Why is there Abercrombie and Fitch on here? What is that? Are you still vlogging? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all. I'm going to be back after we watch a movie on Netflix. Um, my phone dying. My phone dying, I'm about to charge it, and I'll be back. Hey y'all, good morning. It's your girl Ash, and I am back. So this morning, I am just going to um, wash my face and brush my teeth, drink a bottle of water. I'm going to journal and get some sunlight in the room and um, as y'all can see, I just woke up, so my face is dry, my mouth is dry, and I am about to get started on what I'm using. So, excuse me, when I brush my teeth in the morning. Oh, wait, I gotta try to get this open. Let's see if I can use this comb. Oh, good. I'm going to use my tongue scraper. This is going to be for my tongue. I'm grabbing stuff, y'all. Today I get my chemical peel on my face from Poor Store. Make sure y'all follow him at Poor Store. Well, at poor underscore store. Yeah. So, I'm just going to use this as my face wash today. I don't know if y'all can see this, but y'all can see it. But I'm going to use this as my face wash. And then I'm just going to put like a little bit of sunscreen on, which I'll be using this since I'm getting my facial today. And also, gotta have my little super brush because you know I got braces, I gotta get all in between. And that's my mom. This is my big super brush, so yeah, I use a lot of stuff. I'm so scared this morning. And um, I will be using this sensitive toothpaste. Let me start washing my face and then I'll be back. So, hey y'all, we are dressed and we are in the car and we're currently on our way to, we're gonna go get something to eat right now. But, 
we are getting let me see what it's called oh yeah we're going to egg harbor cafe breakfast and lunch we woke up kind of late well we didn't wake up late but my mom had to do my hair so that's why we're running behind and then at one o'clock we are going to poor store and we can't wait i'm excited though um but i'm scared a little bit but i feel like i'm gonna get good results because as you can see can y'all see that and on the neck so and i got a dark mark right here too but yeah the results are going to be good i am claiming that but we are going to go get something to eat because we're hungry and we're going to do other stuff too oh yeah and i'm gonna go get my nails done i'm gonna vlog that get my nails done and she my mom's gonna get her feet done She's going to get her feet done. It's nice out here though. It's 81 degrees down here. So it's good weather. Look, remember I said something about Dollar Tree? It's over there. Oh, that yeah, whole time. I said the mouthwash. It's almost. I could have forgot what a Dollar Tree was, but we're, we found it. It was about a Whole Foods. But it's so nice out here. It's so nice. It's so nice. Let me hold the window down. But yeah, we are going to see you guys when we get to the restaurant, and I'll show you guys our food. But for the most part, we'll be back. Yeah, but they have to make So we are at the restaurant, guys, and we're eating. I'm going to show you all the menu once she comes back. But here is one. It's like drinks on there. If y'all can see that, it's different drinks on there. And this one. But, and this is the special. This is the first toast. It looks so good. And they have lamb and seeds, gambler. They got they got a couple different things in here. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all. So y'all. Y'all, our food is here and it looks so good. The focus is fun. Oh my God, y'all, this looks so good. I'm about to go in. We gonna be back, y'all, once we get to our next location. came prepared with the headband and everything i love that yeah because <laughs> and she my mom just said why you got that big bow on your head i said this is what this type of stuff is for yeah because we have little like spa wraps too that will normally give people and that looks almost just like them yep i was just, just like, like let me make sure I, i'm doing the right thing yeah
forgot the numbing cream on, so I'm waiting for them to come back and take this off. Now, how often a year do people usually get this done? Well, it's good to get a treatment done every month, you know, and some people don't like to do a treatment every month or just they can't do it because they're scheduled. Yeah. So I like to say, you know, get a treatment every other month if you can't get one every month. And something like this, you know, you could get two to three times a year. Some people may need it more than others because they have a lot more pigmentation. So they mm -hmm. might have to do it more often. So like, for example, let's say you might have to do three of these peels to get all of the pigmentation away. Now, okay. in some cases, it works, the peel works very well. You know, some people do one and all this, their pigmentation goes away with one treatment. Right. I mean, in, in a perfect world, we love that, but does it happen for everybody? Not everybody, but there's just no peel like it. So it works really well. Some people need to do more than one, but the results you see with just one treatment is absolutely insane. You okay. see results that would take 10 to 15 other peels with one treatment of this. Right. Um, so it's time effective and it's cost effective, you know? Yeah. Um, Cause you just see so much improvement with one treatment. Okay. Some people come in, I said, oh, your babe, you're gonna need to do three of these because yeah. they had bad pigmentation. They ended up needing to do one. There's some people who came in, I said, oh, you're just gonna need one. And they ended up needing two. So okay. it's just different, you know? Everyone's a little different. Everyone's skin's different. So we just kind of have to go with how your skin takes it and see how your skin does. Okay. But, you know, everyone sees such dramatic improvement. If they need another one, they see improvement that they've never seen before with any other product, mm -hmm. that they're more than happy to do it again. Because when you see the results, you're, you know, you don't mind doing it again. Okay. And that's what's important with this peel is that you're going to see crazy results. How does it feel one out of ten? It's like a, it's not like a painful feeling. It's like a tingling feeling, right? Right. I would say like a six from one to ten. But, but it's just... usually like, even when I get facials, they ask me the same thing. So, and I have got facials in the past, like a hydro facial. Uh-huh. And stuff like that, so. But yeah, just tingling. Now, whenever you leave, you want to make sure that you're fanning your face. Okay. Because sometimes, the, you know, the, the smell of the peel or mm -hmm. the fumes of it can irritate your eyes and it can burn a little bit. Okay. Um, So what I'm gonna do is I wanna get you on the pigmentation pack okay. and then I wanna see you again in six weeks, okay? okay? And then anytime you come to see me or any kind of treatment mm -hmm. that you go see anyone for, whether it's getting your brows waxed or anything, you have to stop retinol five days before. Okay. Very five important. If you don't and you get the treatment, um, it could make your skin sensitive before and it could hurt, hurt your skin. Okay. So make sure anytime you come to me or you go do anything that involves like getting a treatment mm -hmm. that you stop using retinol five days before then. Okay. And really- I usually don't, I don't think I really use that stuff. So. No, I know probably in the past maybe, but- What's gonna be in what I recommend for you. Okay. And the kit that comes with it, it lasts for? About 25 days. Okay. And online, like, do you guys ship orders too? We do. Okay. Yeah. The biggest part about this peel is the aftercare. The only time anyone right. ever has an issue with this peel is because they were not Doing following the, right the aftercare mm -hmm. correctly. If you follow the instructions, you wear the sunscreen every single day, okay. you'll have no issues. A lot of people make a mistake 
even though we say, and the pamphlet says clearly, mm -hmm. to wear the sunscreen every single day, even if you're not going outside, a lot of people will decide that they're going to skip using the sunscreen because they're going to stay inside and they're not going outside. Right. And then their face can turn dark because they did not, A, follow the instructions, mm -hmm. and B, they didn't get the, the ingredients that are in the sunscreen that helps heal the skin. Okay. So it's so important. So please, 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 please make sure you follow the instructions. I will. Because if you don't, you will not get good results. So I try right. to stress that everybody. It's all about the aftercare. Yeah, I will. Trust me, I will be doing the right thing. <laughs> and make sure you send your pictures every single day. Okay. At the, at the end of the day, we're doing a chemical peel. We are putting chemicals on your face mm -hmm. that's dissolving the outer layers to get your skin to create new skin to replace it. Okay. So, you know, sometimes you're send, you, you might have sensitive skin that you may not know of or you may be allergic to something that you don't even know of. So it's important that we see those pictures every day so we can monitor you and make sure everything's going smoothly. Gotcha. Let's say you have an allergy to something that's in there that you had no idea about and then I didn't know about it because you didn't know about it. Okay. If I can see that there's something, you know, going on, which it's never, it never happens, but you could be that one in a million. If I could see maybe, oh, she's having a little reaction or she's having something, I can call you and I can fix it and say, hey, I need to get you this cream. It's going to clear it up okay. or something. And like, that's not to scare you. That's just to be transparent. Yeah. But does that ever happen? No. But that's why we ask this in the pictures every day so we can monitor you. Or let's say that you are accidentally misread the instructions and you were doing something wrong. If I can notice and see what you're doing mm -hmm. with your pictures every day, I could say, hey, love, are you sure that you're doing this? And we can get you correct and on track. Because sometimes people read things wrong and they misunderstand it. Okay. So gotcha. the pictures are very important. If you don't send the pictures, call God. Don't call me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gotcha. joking. You can still call. but. So, like, would you guys leave me, like, a number to text oh, the yeah. pictures to? Absolutely. Okay. Yep, it's going to be all in your information. Okay, babe, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the aftercare. We're going to go over everything. Okay. And then I want to see you back in six weeks, okay? Okay. All right. One second, be right back. All right. Make sure you keep that fan on a little bit, though. Okay. So, y'all, I had the pill on. He just put the pill on. And I gotta keep this on for 12 hours. 12 hours. and i am back um today is currently day three of me getting my chemical pill and as y'all can see i am feeling really bad um i'm on my way to work but of course um i just wanted to update y'all and show y'all my progress so far so i am currently feeling really 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 bad and as you can see, like, in certain spots on my face, you can see the new skin that's behind the the peeling process. And I'm telling y'all, it looks so good, but I know that I'm probably going to have to get another one to get the full results that I really want. But so far, so good. I am very pleased so far because I am peeling away and that shows that that's possibly good signs you know so i don't know how long i'm appeal for um it could take up to 14 days <clears throat> that's what they said and you could peel anywhere from 5 to 14 days but this is only my third day and i'm currently peeling and i'm peeling pretty bad as you can see i have my sunscreen on like i was told and i did my morning routine um with everything they had gave me i have not scratched i have not peeled I have not picked, I have not did none of that because 
they are the instructions that they gave you when getting the chemical pills so as you guys can see i am very very pilly and nasty i don't even look like myself but this is the process and i will continue to update you guys until the whole process is over um but technically it's going to take me about a good 30 days to probably heal fully but that's okay because i'm just continue to use their products and do what i'm supposed to do so that i can get the results that i really want but so far so good so i'll be back to update you guys tomorrow on day four hey y'all so we still on day three and this is the nighttime routine i just use their gentle cleanser and then i went in with my retinol one percent and now i am about to go in with my brightening cream so i'm gonna wait a second i usually try to space them out about two to three minutes apart and then i put on each just so i can let it sit on my face for a second but as y'all can see that i am peeling i am peeling i am peeling i am peeling i'm peeling so bad and that's because um it's working so as y'all can see, if y'all can see oh i'm sorry y'all but if y'all can see my new skin is here i know it's not done because it's not healed my new skin is here in between where you see that my skin is peeling that's where my new skin is you can't see none of my new skin on my forehead because my forehead is covered with the peel so if you can see wherever i'm dark at that's where my new skin is at so it's going to come to surface once all the peeling is done and we just have to continue to wait and see what happens but yeah and don't forget, y'all, if y'all ever get this done, please do not scratch. Please do not pick. Please do not peel. Please do not pull. Don't do none of those things because it's going to make the process worse and you're not going to get the effective results that you want. Now, I do feel that this peel has did a drastic change in my skin, but I also feel like I'm going to have to get a second one in order to get the results that i really really want but you have to start somewhere and i started somewhere and i got one so therefore i am happy with getting the one but i'm just ready to see after the 14 days which i'm on day three i just can't wait till the 14 days is up and i can see a completely different change without hopefully all the pillin is really done at the 14th day or even the 30th day. It doesn't matter because you still have to heal through the process. So I'm just forever grateful for the process. But also I'm anxious. I'm nervous. And I just hope that I get. I'm not going to say I'm going to get the perfect results. But I'm going to get close to the perfect. Because once I go back and get the second one. I feel like I'm going to be at my mark. So I am so grateful to God that this has happened for me. Um, I want to thank my mom, I want to thank my aunt, and I am so grateful, and hopefully I get the results that I want, because again, I'm very insecure about my skin, but as y'all can see, I am a trooper, I'm going strong, and even just being on here and looking like this, this is like really not something that I am comfortable with doing, but I'm showing y'all my pro my process so that y'all can possibly do the same thing if you're dealing with the same thing which i have is acne um and my acne was really 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 bad this side was my worst side this side was like my iffy side i didn't have a lot but i had enough to the point where um i didn't like it i i didn't i don't like none of my acne all of my acne really upsets me but when you could do stuff to fix it, I will fix it. So my thing is just continue to be here with me on this journey. And I'm going to continue to update you guys in the process.
all right y'all so i just got my starbucks and um i came on because um of course i gotta record day four so this is day four of the chemical peel and as you guys can see i am still pilly 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 but i have all my stuff on i did my cleanser i did my retinol i did my brightening cream and i also did my sunscreen so i have on every product that i'm supposed to have on this morning i am feeling good i am feeling confident um you know how it is when you got like acne on your skin and you just be like discouraged and um you just like the marks you just don't be feeling them so i am so happy that i went to atlanta i went to poor store to get this done and i'm so excited because i could tell a big difference already and i'm just loving the results the results are so 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 good um i highly recommend 10 out of 10 and i think to get the full results that i really really want like i was telling you guys in the last clip i'm going to go back and get one more just so that i can get the results that i desire because i know that if i get the second one i know that my skin is going to be exactly where i want it to be but for the most part i am very happy i'm very excited i'm going to continue this process and hopefully everything works out and i'm gonna just keep updating y'all and um if y'all made it this far thank you guys so so much for tuning in but i will continue to update you guys like i said bye good morning good morning good morning good morning y'all i'm so tired still um today is currently day five of the chemical peel and as y'all can see that i am still peeling in certain areas i'm still peeling a little bit especially underneath my chin see that so i'm still pulling back i am about to get up and wash my face um mm, i don't mind over y'all but um it's still going good everything's still going good i'm still happy um with my results but um like i said I'm stuttering, I'm sorry, because I'm sleepy, but I am going to go back and get a second one so I can get the desired results that I really want, and um, I just can't wait to get the second one, because I just feel like it's going to even be a more drastic change, but so far, so good, and I'm going to continue to use their product, and I'm also going to use um i also i'm also going to order their pigment pack so stay tuned for that i'm gonna do an unboxing of that also once i order it this is all going to be in one vlog currently so again thank you guys for watching i'll be back hey y'all good morning 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 um so <laughs> i'm moving around in circles but my lips is kind of like um dry right now i need to put some blood tech on so i'm gonna go get some put some blood tech on but y'all this is day seven this is day seven of the chemical peel right now i am dry because i haven't finished my um steps to put in the rest of my stuff on i did do the cleanser um but Again, I didn't finish the rest of the steps. Let me sit y'all here so y'all can see. But yeah, I didn't finish the rest of the steps, y'all. So, um, I'm about to finish them now. Go back in the bathroom and finish them. Put some best stuff on because your girl lips is dry. They're dry. But yeah, y'all, um, throughout this whole process, I've just been keeping a faith and I've been really, really happy. But if y'all didn't know that i've been wanting to start my channel but i was really like really really insecure because of how my face was like i was really insecure because the marks were so bad and i had been struggling and 
I'm like, I don't know what else to do or what can I find to like get the results that I wanted. So now like it's like I'm more confident and like the whole process of me, you know, going to go get the chemical pill coming back, letting my skin heal and everything like that. I just feel, you know, 10 times better because at first I wasn't confident to come on camera and talk to you guys because my face was hard, but I'm not going to lie. It was bad. And <clears throat> I'm probably going to enter some clips. So don't judge me because y'all, my face was really, really bad. And I did not want to record. I didn't want to pick up the camera to talk. I didn't want to do none of that stuff. And it was because I was just like real, real self-conscious and insecure about my skin. And now that I have gotten the proper help, and now that I see that I went through this process and I'm going to continue to go through this process because it's going to take me about 30 days to really heal and stuff. Because right now my skin is two different colors. Well, it's like really like three different colors in all different spots because that's because from the chemical peel digging so deep into my skin and not just that, they also did micro needling. Micro needling, micro needling really hurts y'all. It really does, but if you're strong enough, you know, you can get through it and stuff like that. Like, it's not going to be a big deal that, um, you know, if you get the micro needle and done. But they do do that first before doing the peel, and they also numb you and stuff too. Um, so that you won't feel as much pain. Now, I will say roughly, I would say my nose and my forehead was the worst. And my chin. When it came to the micro needle, because he was like really digging, really, really, really digging deep. And I just was so uncomfortable. But you know, I'm a trooper. So I kept saying, No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. That, Y'all, that shit hurt it. You know how these people like to tussle? That shit hurt it. I was like, Y'all, I was like really going back and forth with myself. Like, like this hurt. Like, but I was, I was stuck in it out. Your girl was stuck in it out, y'all. I was stuck in it out. I was doing my thing. I was stuck in it out. And, you know, I ain't complaining about it. I just did what I, you know, had to do or whatever. But, y'all, out, y'all, if y'all was to go through this process, like the people that has acne, I feel like y'all would be in a much better place with yourself, with your skin. Um... Cause now I just even feel that my skin is renewed and it's more healthier. Um, I did say today that I'm starting a challenge where as though I will just be doing all water and green tea um, and stuff like that. Like I just want to cleanse my body. I also bought some pills y'all that I want to see help because he had wanted me to go, um, go to the dermatologist and um, get that i think it's called acatine or something like that it's something in that family but i might be saying it wrong so don't quote me or please don't come for me i really don't know but he wanted me to go on that and ask my doctor about that but i don't think that that's going to work because currently i am on birth control and when you're on birth control you can't take that so that's something that i would have to look into or i possibly have probably have to stop the birth control in order to do that i don't know but i might be good if i just you know go at my own pace and follow my own directions i'm not saying that i'm a doctor so please don't quote me or come for me i'm just saying that um because i'm kind of scared to come off of the birth control because you know us as females when you have a cycle i don't know about anybody else and i'm just speaking for myself but when i'm on my cycle i'm bawling i'm crying i'm sleeping on the couch i can't sleep in a bed i'm sleeping like i'm standing up y'all it's so uncomfortable the the cramps are unbearable like i can barely get my thoughts and stuff together like i really be messed up when it comes to my cycle like thank god that i'm able to like get it in order but that also causes me blood problems that's why i'm a severe anemic at times i could be cold just like 
from the littlest stuff like right now y'all it is currently april and i have my heater on right now because it's cold it's cold and our apartment is cold and um i woke up cold but also i sleep cold because i can't sleep high and i i listen i won't go to sleep if it's hot because if it's hot it's hot i can't go to sleep high y'all but yeah again so i had went to um safaris and i had just got like a couple items but i'm not going to show y'all all the other stuff but i have bought these so if anybody is on this please tell me what you guys think about this so far i just bought them so i haven't started taking them yet but i'm going to start taking these um and i want to see like i just want to give this a try to see because it say it helps clear your skin and um body from toxins so again i'm going to be using these for 30 for 30 days you take two so let's see how big they is i'm gonna see how big they is so that because y'all i don't know about y'all but your girl when it comes to taking pills y'all it'd be hard for me i don't know why but it be it be hard it be hard i be going back and forth with myself like oh uh, uh, like y'all let me tell y'all it be it be crazy y'all it be really crazy but yeah y'all it's 753 and i'm just ramming and talking but um my nose is so itchy because it's dry but hold on y'all i'm trying to see if i could show y'all the size of this Peel. I'm about to just get something and stick in it, but it seems like it want to come. Oh, okay, all right. Oh my god, yo, y'all, look at this. Look at this. This is big to me. This, y'all, it don't look big on camera, y'all, but I swear this pill is big. But Yo, I'm gonna start taking this, y'all. I'm gonna start it probably. I don't know. I don't know if you gotta take it with food or not, but y'all, I'm definitely taking this right here. I'm definitely taking this. And then also, like, people was telling me too, like, this with the process. Maybe if I take this too, this will help with certain stuff. And I ain't taking my vitamins this morning, y'all. So, I'm glad that I'm on here because I be messing up. But I take one of these every day. I take one of these. It's good for immune, your immune system, immune health and stuff. So, I do take one of these every day. And I do take... Look, I'm dropping stuff. Um, I do come to them. I will take like a... Um, A, a woman's multivitamin but apparently my mom she think that they are just for her because she didn't put them in her room now where they do that at like why would you put our stuff we sharing why would you put our stuff in your room like mm -mm. that's a no and then i also take two of these in the morning because, y'all, I stress a lot. I got anxiety, like, real bad. So, I try to take stuff that, like, <clears throat> stuff that, like, keep me calm and stuff like that. And help me throughout the day. For the most part, I've been taking them for a while. I feel like they work. But, I like the goalie ones better. I don't have them. I don't have the goalie ones. Um, I ran out, but I show y'all on this phone, on my other phone, I show y'all a picture of the goalies that I take. Um, and y'all, they work, they were dumb goalies. They work instantly. Like one day I had a flare up, and um, one day I had a flare up. And I was just like trying to calm myself down. 
because I think it was more so like a panic attack at that time. And I had um took one of the goalies and I had calmed down like probably after a couple minutes. But yeah, y'all, I got anxiety bad. But here are the goalie ones that I take. That's the goal the goalie ones that I take, y'all. And they work good. Yeah, they were good. So, I'm taking my uh, calm and stress, huh? But, yeah, y'all. Um, for the most part, I'm doing the process. I'm going to continue to vlog this. Um, hopefully, I can help y'all, you know, the people that have acne or don't have acne. And they just want their skin to be more clear. Maybe I can help y'all. I'm just saying the process of y'all wanting to get this done. And again, if you guys have made it this far, I appreciate y'all so much. Um, I thank y'all so much for tuning in. And um, I'll be back.